Uh, you know, when I, I was a regent uh, at OSU for about five years before I got this job, and I was always kind of, and another background, I, this is kind of a dark spot of my, my life, I suppose, but when I was chairman of the Department of Human Services, the Oklahoma City Teaching Hospitals were under DHS in those days, uh, which, which gave me my aversion to owning a hospital. But anyway, that's another story. Uh, but uh, I was really aware of the disparity in the resources uh, that OSU had. I became more, more and more aware of it uh, as I was uh, during my service as a regent. So when the whole idea of becoming uh, president of the university came up, I, uh, I sat down and they had a kind of a heart-to-heart -heart talk about there, there's no way we can achieve what we should achieve and can achieve without the resources. We have to have competitive resources. Now, we've done a remarkable job, honestly, uh, with very inadequate res resources. Uh, so everybody says we do a lot with a little. Well, I want to do a lot more with more. And uh, said, well, how much are you talking about? And I said, well, I'm probably talking about over the long haul around $5 billion. Because state support's going down as a percentage of our budget every year, uh, and costs are going up. So to do, as of, I'd say when I was in school, I bet the state provided at least 70, I need to find this out exactly, but I think it was about 75% of the cost of my education. Now, as you can tell by looking at me, that was a long time ago. But today, it's below 30%. So we're much more like a private school than we are a public school. And we've got to start behaving like a private school because it ain't going to get any better. It's only going to go the other way, keep going the way it's going. So that's where we came up with uh, the campaign, and we decided to start with a billion dollars. Nice round number. Uh, it uh, certainly is an audacious amount compared to anything we've ever done before at OSU. That was three years ago. Today, uh, I am happy to tell you that we've had a lot of good success, much of it, frankly, uh, due to Boone Pickens' match. Uh, everybody wants something for nothing, and so the opportunity to get your gift uh, multiplied uh, materially was a, was a tremendous incentive. So when we started our uh, chair and professorship campaign that, uh, that resulted in a number of chair and professorships here at CHS, as well as OSU Tulsa, uh, it got our first major money from George Kaiser. Uh, even George likes to see a match from Boone Pickens. And, uh, and so, so that was great. But what Boone did with that, I think that was remarkable, is not just that he gave the money and we got the money, but he literally changed the culture of the OSU family. Because our family up until then really didn't give what they could give. Uh, people who could give $50,000 gave $5,000. People who could give a million dollars gave $100,000. And what Boone did, I think, was inspire people to do things. My favorite example of that is Malone and Amy Mitchell, who the most they had ever given to OSU was the $100 each of the alumni dues when they'd get called by the Cowboy Callers uh, every year. And uh, their next gift was $58 million. Now, I admit, that's a sort of an anomaly about what I'm talking about. Most people didn't quite make that big a jump. Uh, but Malone and Amy tell you very candidly, we were inspired by Boone Pickens. I mean, we could do it. We could afford it. We could afford all of that. It didn't change our life one iota, except that we felt great that we had helped our alma mater, who had helped us so much. So. Through that, and then later a match for scholarships, uh, today we are proud to announce that we are at $740 million on our way to a billion dollars. Three years. Thank you. A lot of people get a lot of credit for that. Certainly, uh, Howard Barnett has been a great leader in that. And, and uh, of course, Kurt Jewell here is head of our foundation. Uh, so there's a lot of, lot of uh, fathers to this success, to be sure. Uh, but uh, we still have a long way to go. If you use the football analogy, which my wife always cautions me against, we're on the 20-yard line. Uh, but 
it's a very tough defense. Defense always gets tough when you get close to the goal line. And we are there. And what we have left to raise uh, is tough money. There are no matches. Uh, so we're going to foundations. Uh, we've got facilities that we need to build here in Tulsa as well as throughout the system. Uh, so, and, and, and Monday night, uh, we have the stately affair, the first ever major fundraiser for uh, OSU Tulsa, and in this case, CHS, the, the, the entire family. Uh, a lot of private uh, patrons have given a lot of money for that, and, uh, and that has been great. Uh, and we're, we've, we're developing a, a, a good, uh, we're developing a really, I think, good uh, donor base that will serve us for years to come. People don't just give you money one time. Well, you can once, if you ever get on their list and you do a good job of stewardship, they'll keep giving you money. And that's what we like, people that give us money. So, uh, so that's, that's great. But all of you have served on nonprofit boards, boards, I'm sure you understand that donors often want to know, what are you all doing? What are the people that are actually in the system doing? Because we're not going to support something that's not supporting itself. And I know people can say, gee, I work, I work there, I, I do a good job, but that's what I'm doing for the university. That is important. But we all work that give money. We all work for somebody. So that's why it's so important. And I want to, I want to just mention a few of uh, the gifts that have come out of uh, the CH CHS organization. Uh, and uh, these, were, these are very important. Uh, the, we were talking about the Morgellons disease over here, and I, I got educated on that. Thank you, doctor. Uh, but uh, we have a $50,000 uh, gift of a scholarship, which qualifies for the Pickens match uh, in the, uh, from the new Morgellons order. $100,000 from uh, Dial Meshri for an endowed scholarship in the memory of his uh, late wife, Dr. Indu Dial Meshri, and that's matched by the Pickens match. And 99,000, must be something happened if you go to all the way to 100, 99,000 from the Osteopathic Founders uh, Foundation uh, for the Legacy Scholarship also qualifying for the Pickens match. So those are just some examples. Uh, now, we only announced this last February, so it's not like it's been around a long time, but I know a number of you have contributed, and we want to thank all of you for that. Uh, and I especially want to thank, really, the, our operations in Tulsa under Howard's uh, leadership, uh, but we still have a long way to go. Uh, we really need to get our percentages way up, and right now, at CHS, we're at about 24 percent. It doesn't matter how much you give. Uh, you need to give what you feel you can comfortably give. But everybody can give something. Everybody. And it is critical that we can show the foundations that we go to, look, look what our people are doing. They believe in this place, and they're supporting this place. They don't ask how much you gave. They just want to know that you gave. So I think together, we're going to make this billion-dollar campaign, and when we're done with that, we're going to start all over and do another billion-dollar campaign, maybe a two-billion-dollar campaign. Personally, Howard and I have talked. We want this medical school to be a lot bigger. Oklahoma needs it. The nation needs it. And it is our intent to provide you with the resources and the facilities to do just that. You're training great docs. Everywhere I go, every system that I, I work with, with San Francis or Integris, I mean, when we, were, when we looked like we were going to be orphaned with nowhere to go, believe me, we had a lot of places we could go because there wasn't a health care system in this state that didn't want this medical school. So you're obviously doing a fantastic job with what I believe to be inadequate resources. If you all will invest in it, we can get others to invest in it, and in the end, we're going to really have the shining example for the whole country. Go Pokes.